Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you all are staying warm on this chilly Sunday morning. I want to welcome you to worship. Um, also, a special welcome to those of you who are watching online. We have quite a few announcements, so I hope you are ready. First, um, lots of food opportunities coming up. First, um, right after the service, the WIND, the Winona Immigration Network, is holding a chili luncheon. Um, it's a free will donation. Cornbread and dessert are included, and there's vegetarian and meat options. Um, so we invite you all to that happening in Grace Hall. <clears throat> the next food event, on Tuesday, the youth are having a chicken queue. And it's kind of a grab and go chicken queue. So you just drive to steak shop, they'll come out and bring you food, and then you drive away. Um, we do ask that you pre-order. Um, you can do that by calling the steak shop, which you'll see up there. Um, we're ordering online. Um, and ordering online is just steakshopcatering.com. And then you go and pick your date that you want it. And then um, it'll pop up as one of the events. So $12, you get half a chicken and all the fixings with that. And we um, really would appreciate your support. On January 19th is a reschedule of the game day that was supposed to happen on Friday that was canceled due to weather. Um, that starts, I think, around 1 o'clock. Um, and also, one, mo one more important thing that's happening this week, if we have any current 6th through 12th graders that are interested in our mission trip to Duluth this summer, we do need to know by Thursday whether or not you are attending because our final numbers have to be in on Friday. And last but not least, on February 3rd, there's a few more tickets left for the Neil Diamond tribute. Um, there's a group of people going, so if you are interested in that, tickets are $45, and they will meet at the church at 3.30 so they can head to La Crosse and grab dinner beforehand. Lots of announcements. Today we celebrate um, Baptism of Jansen, so that will be coming up, and we also celebrate and um, remember the Baptism of Jesus today. With that, I ask you to stand on up as we start with our opening hymn. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, creator of darkness and light, word of truth, wind sweeping over the waters. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God, our rock, our refuge, we pour out our hearts before you. We have known you, but have not always loved you. We have wounded one another and sinned against you. We have not always recognized the Holy Spirit dwelling in each of us. Remember your covenant. Renew your creation. Restore us that we might proclaim your good news to all. Amen. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. God has spoken. The time of grace is now. In Jesus, the reign of God has come near. And by the authority of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. You are God's beloved. Amen.
us pray. Holy God, creator of light and giver of goodness, your voice moves over the waters. Immerse us in your grace and transform us by your spirit that we may follow after your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Our reading for today is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Mark in the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized, baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now Jesus, John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. A voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated, and I invite the children to come up for a short message. called the baptismal font. And I would say that probably most of us here have been baptized, right? Do you know what baptism means? What happens during baptism? What do we do during baptism? They get blessed. They get, God. yeah. Holy Spirit comes through the water. What is in here? Water. Water. Do you want to touch it? It's just normal water, right? It's cold. It's cold? <laughs> But when we baptize somebody, we baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And we welcome them into the church. We welcome them into believers. It's called the priesthood of all believers. That means everyone 
that believes in God. And through that, the Holy Spirit comes down. And there, did you hear in the reading today? It said, after Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down from heaven. So when we get the water, the Holy Spirit is within us. We have faith, and we're welcomed into the church. And you know what one of my favorite parts about baptism is? What do you think? What, do you have a favorite part about baptism? Being, it's being water on the baby. Putting water on the baby? My favorite part is when the church agrees to help you live in faith. That's my favorite part. Because it shows that we're a church family. The other thing that's really cool about baptism is we can remember our baptism. And you know how we do that? We can put our finger in the water, just like this. Go ahead and put your fingers in the water. And then we can make the sign of the cross on our forehead. And that helps us to remember our baptism. Remember the faith that we are born into, the new life that we are given in God, the hope and the joy that we have in God. You know what else is? Helps us remember that we are beloved children of God, that God loves us so much, and that God is with us always. So today we're going to celebrate the baptism of Jesus, and we're going to celebrate... Jansen being baptized over there, and we're all going to remember our baptism today, and remember that promise and the love that we have in God. So I hope that today you all remember the promise and the love that you have in God. Let's pray together. Can you repeat after me? Dear good and gracious God, Dear good and gracious God thank you so much for the gift of baptism. Thank you for the water that sustains us. Thank you for the water that sustains us. The Holy Spirit that lives within us. The Holy Spirit that lives within us. And Jesus who died for us. And Jesus who died for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. Well, it's that time again. The new year is a time when many of us seek to begin anew, to start over, to be recreated. At the start of a new year is a time when many of us resolve to improve ourselves. Resolving and perhaps already failing to be healthier, more disciplined, more focused, more, well, you get the picture. Perhaps this desire to begin anew is in response to our desire to be more in control, more beautiful, more desirable, more loved. So these readings we have for today really seem to hit the mark, no pun intended. One of the commentators I read this week brought to light that our readings this week capture the fullness of time in God, the eternal cosmic beginnings of Genesis, the holy present moment of Jesus' baptism, and the baptismal promise of acts reaching into the future. The common thread running through all these verses is the presence of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> in our reading from Genesis 1, it says, In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God's Spirit moves. God's Spirit speaks creation into being. The Hebrew verb for create is only of divine, never human activity. God brings forth from dark, watery chaos creation. God is at work in new beginnings of each day. God creates and recreates 
God does the work. In our reading from the Gospel of Mark, we hear of God in action again. Mark writes, In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Just as the Spirit of God moved through the waters in creation, so the Spirit enters into Jesus. Jesus receives the Holy Spirit and God's favor. God wants to be in relationship with creation and breaks through barriers to be in this relationship. Jesus didn't do anything to deserve this. It is a pure gift. The gift of Jesus' baptism marks the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. This is the beginning of his long and difficult journey towards Jerusalem and the cross. I wonder how much Jesus needed to hear and receive God's gift of the Holy Spirit and words of love, acceptance, and commitment. I imagine these gifts gave Jesus the strength to endure, persevere, in the wildernesses ahead. Each of us longs to hear words of identity, acceptance, blessing, and commitment. Just as Jesus was called by name, we too are called by name through the waters of baptism. In baptism, God proclaims that you are God's beloved children in whom God is well pleased. We don't have to do anything to receive God's promises. We are passive recipients of God's blessing and favor. God chooses us. We are called God's beloved children, not because of what we do, but because of who God is. God wants to be in relationship with God's creation. As water and word through the Holy Spirit is poured out over Jansen in her baptism, God calls her beloved in whom God is well pleased. Let us too be reminded that we are God's beloved. We don't do anything to deserve this. This life-giving gift of baptism renews and refreshes and gives us strength to live together in community to spread the good news of Christ, to serve and follow as Jesus did. No matter what is going on in our lives, we can be assured that God is with us. Just as Jesus was given strength in the wilderness, we too are given the Holy Spirit to help us through the wildernesses of our lives. In holy baptism, God chooses us. In holy baptism, God says that we are enough. Especially in this brand new year, it is tempting to think we need to renew, change, recreate ourselves. Maybe it is because we need to be assured that we are loved and appreciated, that we are enough. God wants you to know that you are God's beloved child. There is nothing you can do to change that. God has given you the gift of the Holy Spirit to become the very air you breathe, to help you in all times of your life. God is at work in your life. God loves and cares for you. Just remember God's words. You are my beloved child. With you, I am well pleased. Let us pray. 
Dear Lord, send the Spirit to work in our lives as we model Jesus in working together to proclaim your good news, serve all people, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Break into our lives and help us to know we are your beloved children. Amen. may be seated. And at this time, I will invite Chanson and our sponsors up. Today we welcome Jansen and her family and her sponsors to be back. Okay. God, who is rich in mercy and love, give us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to a new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Sponsors, would you please present your candidate? To Jordan and Sarah, do you desire to have Jansen baptized into Christ? And as you bring Jansen to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with these responsibilities, to live with her among God's faithful people, Bring her to the word of God and the Holy Supper. Teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. Place in her hands the Holy Scriptures and nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Parents, do you promise to help Jansen grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, that's what we do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Jansen in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit to help her live in the covenant of baptism and the communion of the church? People of God, 
Do you promise to support Jansen and pray for her in her new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. We do. This time, we're going to profess our faith, and I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus. Reject sin and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, say, I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? If so, reply, I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, respond, I renounce them. Do you, the people of God, do you believe in God the Father? Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created heaven and earth. By the gift of water you nourish and sustain us and all living things, and by the waters of the flood you condemned the wicked and saved those for whom you have chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by the pillar of cloud and fire through the sea, out of slavery and into freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. And by the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from captivity to sin and death and has opened the way to the joy and freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdom of cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his commands, we make disciples out of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit so that those who are here baptized may be given new life. Wash away the sin of all who are cleansed by this water and bring them forth as inheritors of your glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Bring her on over. Jansen Lee Mickelson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> you got water? You want to hold it? There you go. Let us pray. We give thanks, O God, that through the water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Jansen with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Jansen Lee Mickelson, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ. Now and forever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Receive this candle as a symbol of the light of Christ. The prophet Isaiah proclaimed, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. God has clothed me with garments of salvation and covered me with robes of righteousness. The quilters here at Central Lutheran Church have supplied this beautiful class so that you may be wrapped in love. You have put on Christ, and in him you have been baptized. Let us welcome this newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ 
and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming world to all the world. Amen. Let us welcome our new sister, baptized in grace. And as we remember today and celebrate Christ's baptism, I invite you all um, at the service to remember your baptism by marking your foreheads with the sign of the cross. So as they return to their seats, I invite the congregation to rise as we continue with our prayers of the day this morning. As we celebrate Christ's embodiment in human form, we pray for God's blessing on the church, the world, and all creation. God of forgiveness, inspire wisdom and a spirit of proclamation in your church. Uplift leaders to share the truth of your word in community. Encourage us to live into the promise of baptism, working for justice and peace in all the world. God of grace. Renew your creation. Restore the rivers in which your children are baptized. May fields flourish and grow. Summon the stewards and caretakers of the land to cherish your good works. God of grace. God, who is present in every country and community, give strength to your leaders. Raise up leaders committed to equity and healing. Grant them discernment and compassion as they need in love. God of grace, God of strength, protect and cherish the most valuable among us. Accompany those separated from family or hurting from broken relationships. Shelter our unhoused neighbors and any experiencing poverty. Protect those incarcerated in prisons and detention centers. Care for the sick and suffering, especially today, Ken, Arlene, Ella, Sonia, Linda, Karen, Scott, Bobby, Gloria, Irene, Jan, Peter, David, Ross, Sherry, Jermaine, Arnold, Sue, Ed, Lane, Sherry, David, Lori, Clay, Marcia, Samantha, Arla, the family of David Green. God of grace, God who calls and sends disciples, encourage this congregation. Guide us in a company, learning from and serving our neighbors on the margins, following the example of Jesus. God of grace, we pray with thanksgiving for those baptized here during the past year. Today we recognize the tea, Xander, Ada, Lennon, Senya, Paisley, Riley, Liam, Henry, Atlee, Luke, Melody, Ronan, Aletha, Bailey, Abigail, Marcy, Daryl, Parker. And to gain especially for Jansen, baptized here today, that she grow to be a vibrant witness to your love. God of grace. Knowing the Holy Spirit intercedes for us, we offer these prayers and the silent prayers of our hearts in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. Let us take a moment to share the peace of Christ with those around us here this morning.
please stand as you're able. Blessed are you, Holy One, for all good things come from you. In bread and cup you open heaven to us. Meet us at this table, that we receive what we seek, and follow your Son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. You are indeed holy, almighty, and merciful God. You are most holy, and great is the majesty of your glory. For you so loved the world that you gave your only Son, that whoever believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. We give you thanks for his coming into the world, to fulfill your holy will, and to accomplish all things for our salvation. It was on the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, he broke it, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took a cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his salutary command, his life-giving passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension. And the promises of his coming again, we give you thanks, O Lord, Almighty God, not as we ought, but as we are able. We ask you to mercifully accept our praise and thanksgiving, that with your holy wo word and Holy Spirit to bless us, your servants, and these your gifts of bread and wine, that we and all who share in the body and blood of Christ may be filled with the heavenly blessing and grace, receive the forgiveness of sin, and formed to live as your holy people and given to the inheritance with all your saints. To you, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory in your holy church, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom as you teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> Just a, a reminder of how we go through uh, communion here. Your, the ushers will release you by the side aisles. You come forward, there'll be someone holding a tray of cups where you can get a cup, come and join us around the altar, either kneeling or standing, whichever you're most comfortable with. If you need grape juice rather than wine, that's on the top of the cabinets. And if you need gluten-free bread, let us know, and we have that available as well. So come, for all has been made ready.
Stand as you're able. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his inter in eternal life. Amen. Giver of every gift, Christ's body is our food, and we are Christ's body. Raise us up to life by your power for the benefit of all, and to your glory now and forever. Amen. And now may the God who names you, Christ who claims you, and the Holy Spirit who dwells within you, bless you and remain with you always. Amen. We sing our sending hymn every time I feel the Spirit. Go in peace, you are God's beloved.